Hello and welcome to this week's News Bulletin Roundup at the International News Channel. Let's take a look at the headlines. Extreme weather conditions in British Columbia. Schools in New Delhi close as smog pervades in the country. Ontario delays digital ID program. Officials seize clothing made using forced labor in China. Push back against vaccination regulations in Austria. Harry Potter cast to reunite for the 20th anniversary special. Greater Roadrunner travels from Las Vegas to Maine. To start, first responders and recovery personnel are continuing to work tirelessly responding to floods, mudslides and strong winds in British Columbia. As of now, thousands have been forced from their homes. Additionally, at least one woman has died from the storm. Meanwhile, evacuation orders are in place for regions affected. Since Sunday, BC Hydro crews have been working to fix damage caused by the flooding the strong winds and the landslides. Over in India, schools and some coal-based power plants were closed as a response to smog across the capital and other nearby states. Currently, India's top court is considering a lockdown, a decision which could come as early as November 24th. Additionally, the government is discussing whether or not to keep the industries open. However, some experts have highlighted how this would do little to combat the pollution that would only result in hurting the livelihoods of millions across the country. I'll do it again. In other news, the Ontario government has recently announced that they will launch a digital ID program in 2022. The app will allow Ontarians to have electronic copies of government IDs. Previously, the program was meant to be released in 2021. However, the Canadian province delayed launching it because they had to launch the province's proof of vaccination app first. In other Canadian news, the Canadian Border Service Agency seized clothing in Quebec made from forced labor in China. This is the first time an acknowledgement about the interception has occurred since the government amended the customs tariff. Specifically, the amendment banned the importation of goods made from forced labor. Over in Austria, some are expressing feeling discriminated against because they don't want to get vaccinated against COVID-19. These individuals argue that vaccination rules are barred them from meeting their friends, from using public transportation, from drinking in a bar, and so on. As a result, many have begun to call for large anti-lockdown protests to happen this weekend. Meanwhile, smaller rallies are already taking place. The country faces one of the highest infection rates in all of Europe. In other news, HBO Max will be streaming a Harry Potter special on January 1st. The special Harry Potter 20th anniversary return to Hogwarts will see the cast returning to the original Hogwarts set. The special will include Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, Robbie Coltrane, Tom Felton, and many others. J.K. Rowling will not be present for the special. Lastly, a greater roadrunner, a long-legged bird from the Cuckoo family, hitched a ride on a moving van from Las Vegas to Maine. The species is native to southwestern states. The particular bird was stuck in a van for four days before Avian Haven representatives were able to take the bird into their rehabilitation facility. The bird is beautiful and resting in a special habitat made just for him. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the International News Channel. I'm Julia Cosby. And remember to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss any of our latest content.